Hi, in this video, I'm gonna go over the sign rule. Um, more specifically, I'm gonna show you guys something that's called the ambiguous, ambiguous case when we are applying the sign rule. Okay. So we have already talked about this in class. Um, we know how to come up, how to complete this unit circle. Um, we know how to find the x and y coordinates. So the x coordinate, all of this, the x coordinate is sine theta, and the y coordinate is sine theta. This is my x. Okay. So that's something that we uh, we already knew. So, and we also mentioned about this in class. Um, so for example, sine 30, sine 30 degrees, I'll be looking at my y coordinate. Let me change the color. I'll be looking at my y coordinate, which is half. And there is also another angle, there's also another angle that gives us the same sine value, which is half in this case, which is 150. The sine, sine 30 is half, sine of 150 is also half. Right? So we kind of talked about this in class already. So um, what I'm going to do with this unit circle, I'm just going, I'm going to remove um, quadrant 3 and quadrant 4. I'll have something that looks like this. And um, let's try to complete what we have here. So sine 30 degrees is over here, uh, which is half. What's the, what's the other angle? Sine of another angle would also give us half, and that angle would be 150 degrees. So this will be 150. So sine 60, sine 60 is here. This is the cosine, this is the sine. Sine 60 is root 3 over 2. There is another angle that gives us the same sine value, which is over here. And that angle is 120. Okay, so now I want you guys to focus on the angle. 30, 150, 60, 120. Now, is there a pattern? Maybe there is. I hope you guys see it. If you add them, we're always going to be 180. Okay? So if this is true, if this is true, let's see sine 75. I don't see 75 here. So I'm going to use my calculator. Yeah, I'm going to use my calculator. So sine 75 is going to be, so this is 60. 75 probably somewhere there this point. And since it's a point, you're going to have some x, some y. And sine 75, if I put that in my calculator, that gives me, so sine 75 is approximately 0 0.966. Approximately 0 0.966. What is the other angle if, if the pattern that we see here applies, then what should that angle be? So 180 minus 75, that gives us 105. Okay, 105 degrees. And now, if you put sine of 105 in your calculator, we've got the same thing. This is also 0. 9, 6, 6. So, when we are um, taking, let me, um, let's expand on this a little bit. So let's say today, from, from here, yeah, from there, Let's pretend that we don't know what that is. Let's pretend that we don't know what the angles are. Okay? 
So, and they want us to find the angles. So something like sine of theta is equal to 0 0.966. And they want us to find the angle. So to find the angle, I will have to arc sine, right? I have to arc sine, inverse sine. Right? Arc sine, inverse sine, whichever you call it. And when we do this, we are finding the angle and just now we already we already uh, we knew we were given right we know that the angle should be so if you put the, the if you put this in the calculator you should get 75 if you put it, if you put this in your calculator arc sine of 0.966 you will get 75.01 so it's, it's about 75 but we know that, that that's not the only angle that gives us a sine value of 0.966 because we are also going to have this angle, this 105 degrees. There is a 105 degrees that we cannot get from the calculator. So how do we get it? Easy. This 105 would be 180 minus whatever you have from the calculator. And that gives you 105. Yeah? Okay, so in summary, sine of whatever angle it is, is going to be equal to sine of the supplementary angle. Okay, so sine of the supplementary angle. You don't really have to, to remember this if you understand, if you understand the unit circle. So you don't, you don't really have to remember the rule. But um, this rule kind of connects, connects us with the sine rule, okay, which, is, which is why I'm making this video. So if you got this, then we can proceed to find to, to apply to apply, to apply the sine rule. So let's take a look. So we already talked about sine rule in class. Um, but, and we kind of mentioned the ambiguous case, the ambiguous case. So I, um, I was hope, I'm hoping that this video can help you guys out <coughs> um, with using the sign rule, understanding the sign rule, uh, understanding how to use the sign rule. Okay. So this is the rule, um, nothing fancy about it. We are just looking at, uh, the pair. We're looking at, we're looking for those pairs. Right? Um, you can have either the segments, the length on the top, and the sine ratio, the sine values at the bottom in the, the denominator, or we can have the sine values on the numerator and uh, the length in the denominator. Either way, yeah. But sometimes they might, this might be easier to. to um, to solve, um, or that could be easier to solve depending on what you have. So let's just jump into it. Find the missing sides and angles in a triangle ABC. Um, a is 30 degrees, angle A is 30 degrees, the length of segment A is 4, the length of segment C is 7. So that, I'm just going to sketch it. I don't know how, I don't, I don't know exactly how it's going to look, but I'm just going to put it down, so this, I'm going to call that A, I'm going to call this B, I'm going to call that C. Um, angle A is 30 degrees, so that's 30. Um, length A, which is the one opposite from A, that's 4. Um, length C is over here, C is equal to 7. Alright. So that's just a sketch. I don't know if that's accurate, but at least I have some sort of visual aids. So let's go ahead and, uh, and, and apply the same rule. So we need to find what's angle B, what's angle C, what's the length of uh, this will be my B. So I don't know what that is, I don't know what that is, I don't know what that is. Okay, so that's what we have to, that's what we have to find. So let's, let's go ahead and use the same rule. So I'll, uh, Sine 30 
over 4 is equal to let's start by since I already have, we are given the C I can start by having this um, setting up this pair I can use that right? so maybe I can find the C right away the angle C right away so I have sine C over 7 so there you go my sine rule is done now we just have to solve it so I cross multiply I'll get uh, 7, actually I don't have to cross multiply I can bring the 7 here the sine C 7 times sine 30 over 4 is equal to sine C uh, and that's going to give us 7 times sine 30 divided by 4 uh, sine C is equal to 0 0.875 so to find the angle C, I'm going to arc sign, right? inverse sign, arc sign. So my C is going to be inverse sign of that. And if you put that in your calculator, my angle is approximately 61.0 degrees. Okay, we're done. We just found the angle here. However, remember what we talked about just now? The supplementary angles. There is also another angle that gives us the same sine value, which is 0.875. And that angle that angle is the supplementary angle of 61 so in fact I'm going to write this down this is my C1 this is my first possible um, angle measure for my angle C my C2 I have a second um, second possible value that would be the supplementary angle of 61 that would be 118 point sorry it's a 119 Oh. So my angle C over here can be 61. It could also be 119. Right? So I can put that here. This angle here, it can be 61. And that looks like that. But this angle could also be 4. Oh, let me re-sketch this. Or this could be 119. 30 degrees. This is 7. This is 4. However, we know that the 119 degrees is an obtuse angle, but this is not a very good sketch. That makes sense. That doesn't quite make sense. But these are only visual aids. They are just sketches that help us to, to visualize it, visualize the problem here. So all we have to know now is we just have to be aware that this angle does not have, this angle C could be two values, 61 degrees or 119 degrees. So if this is 61, then my angle B will be 180 minus 30 minus 61. And that gives us this will be 89 and if this is 119 degrees then that angle will be this will be 31 degrees so 180 minus 30 minus 119 that gives us 31 so now that we have the angle B, this is C is equal to 7, A equals 4, we can find the respective B values. And this is actually C2, I'm going to put down this as C1. Right? This is C2, 
this is my B2, this is my B1. Just by my angle A, this is given to us, so that cannot be changed. But my, my angle B, we were, we were only able to find angle B after finding the C here. And because my angle C has two values, 61 degrees, I call that C1. And 119 degrees, I call that C2. So I will have two sets of possible solutions. And with these two different sets, I need to find my B. Again, using the sign rule. So I will, um, I'm going to erase what I have here. Okay. You can feel free to rewind to watch the stuff that I, I'm going to erase. Let me erase this. Okay, so um, let's continue because we got that, we got that, we got the angles already. Uh, we just have one last, one last missing segment to find. So I can now, I can with, with my scenario A, uh, sine 89 over B, I'm going to call that B1, I'm going to call this B2. Over B1 is equal to, um, at this point, I could use this pair or that pair. You should use this pair because that's given to us the accuracy is going to be better if we use that pair. So please be mindful of um, accuracy. So I will, I, will, I will set this, I will use the 30 degrees and the 4 to complete my sine rule here. So sine 30 degrees over 4. So my B1, now I can solve for B1. So um, you can cross multiply um, and we'll have B1 sine 30 is equal to 4 sine 89. And B1 is equal to 4 sine 89 divided by sine 30, which gives us approximately 0.5.